We've seen some great feature races here tonight. Wingless won't be any exception to the rule. Points up for grabs, all important. To the white line. Go, we're racing down on the inside. It's the 88 car, gets away quickly. Down the back chute for the first time. Bit of a problem back in the field, but we've sorted it out. It's car 28, Paul Robinson, who is the race leader around the western corner, and he has cleared away. Paul Robinson, under the control tower, he goes high on the racetrack. Is a Jason Jarvis Menzies trying to get to the clear air, can't do it. In position number two at the moment is the 27 car of Jarvis Menzies with a whole field of cars parked in behind him. But have a look at our race leader. He has bolted down the main straight away he goes. The Under the control tower, car number 28 is our race leader, Paul Robinson to the better of Jarvis Menzies and behind them will come David Eggins. Eggins trying desperately to get around the outside and may have succeeded this time under the tower has got himself in a position. Number two, chasing hard two will be the uh, Declan Brownsey car. Number 44 will look for the outside pass this time down the main straight away. Under the tower they go and it is still no change in the order. Our race leader is the 28 car of uh, Paul Robinson as he comes down the main straight with a commanding lead. Under the tower he goes, next one through will be the car of David Eggins with still Declan Brownsey looking for that outside pass to get himself up into position number three, not there at the moment because Jarvis Menzies still holds on down the main straightaway once again. As they go down on the inside of the 77, who's had one of those nights, Michael Reed, our race leader though, has cleared away. Have a look at the lead. Down the main straight and under the tower once again, race leader is Paul Robinson. Still chasing hard is the 71 car of David Eggins, holding on in position number three, will be Jarvis Menzies at the moment, and then the Declan Brownsey car. Can't seem to get any drive off high on the racetrack to get into that podium position. Another lap down on the journey. The nine car would be the next one through there, and that's Tim Harris as they go down the uh, back straight away. Our race leader is under the control tower once again. Commanding lead at the moment for Paul Robinson behind him still and still looking to find a way to get up closer is David Eggins and still holding on in position number three will be the 27 car of Jarvis Menzies. Declan Brownsey would be the next one as they go underneath the control tower once again. Declan Brownsey gets himself all crossed up but finds a bit of drive up high on the track. Can he get around? The 27 car of Jarvis Menzies, no he can't. They hold on to those positions under the control tower once again. And it's still the Jarvis Menzies into position number three. Declan Brownsey still trying to find a way around the outside of him and Tim Harris tucked in there. Our race leader has bolted, forget about him, Paul Robinson. The battle royal is for position number three as uh, Car number nine is the one now high on the racetrack. It doesn't matter. Underneath goes car number 28, still leading the way, Paul Robinson. The battle royal here is for position number three. Declan Brownsey 
still tucked in there in position. Number four behind the 27 car of Jarvis Menzies. Menzies has that inside front wheel tucked firmly on the grass, making them go round the outside if that's what you want to do. Menzies holding on in position number three, the nine car. Tim Harris has a look on the outside of Declan Brownsey. Brownsey tucks down low on the track, can't get the drive up high. Tim Harris is deciding to have a go. Brownsey has a little look himself higher on the track, can't get the drive down the back straight away. Can he get it? No. Race leader goes under the tower once again. Clear leader is Paul Robinson. Still the battle royal is for position number three as car nine, Tim Harris, finds his way underneath Declan Brownsey. We got a yellow. That'll close the field up with only a few laps remaining. Field as they reline up, we've got three laps remaining. Go, we're racing. And in straight in the back end of the race lead, Paul Robinson. He knows that David Eggins is very, very close as they go round the western corner and down the main straight away. David Eggins, can he pull one out right at the end under the tower once again for our race leader? Paul Robinson, David Eggins, very close. Back behind them still is uh, Jarvis Menzies as they go round the western corner with uh, Declan Brownsey unable to make any difference. The white flag is out. No change in the front three positions. The race leader is Paul Robinson to the western corner for the final time. Paul Robson it is. Down the main straight away. Can David Eggins make anything right at the end? No, he can't. And into position number three goes Jarvis Menzies. Well, took a little while. One, one stoppage, but a good race. Paul Robinson, folks, put your hands together for him. Cleared out. Was... Uh, Half a lap in front before the stoppage. This will be uh, whether or not he can grab the checkered flag on the way past. David Eggins into position number two. And uh, Jarvis Menzies holds on for three. That's right, folks. Put your hands together for him. Good effort. We should have street stock feature still to go. And they'll roll onto the racetrack. We will try and have a quick word with Paul Robinson. As the uh, street stocks roll out, Street stock feature going in the street stock way. No, you're right, mate. Paul, good name to have. Paul, well done, excellent. Ah, thank you. That was an awesome racetrack out there tonight. It's been uh, really good. We haven't come back here for a while, and uh, it's good. Hopefully, we've got on a good show. You most certainly did, and you're welcome here anytime you want. No, excellent. Thanks, guys. Just want to thank Luke from Precision and my dad and my brother for helping me out tonight. Thanks, guys.